going on, guys? Yeah, yeah. How you doing? Smoking Joe. What's going on, buddy? Never trust a skinny chef. How's it going? What's up, Kent? Been drinking. <laughs> not me. Not yet, anyway. Just uh, got home a few uh, minutes ago, and uh, it's going to be a long night for me. I'm going to do a couple of uh, briskets. I'm doing a, um, a prime brisket versus a Wagyu from Snake River Farms uh, cooked tonight. So it's going to be a long night. <clears throat> About to eat those ribeyes. I saw that chicken fry. <laughs> you came on real quick. Let me show you what I'm going to have for dinner. Those of you guys that are early get to see it. <clears throat> Let me get my plate out of the microwave. Got some rice. And let me turn this thing off. Got a couple of <clears throat> monster pork chops. <laughs> Look at this thing. I think I'm gonna eat this one here. It's got all the nice crust on it. But I smoked these. Uh, th this is from a smoke a few months ago, actually. And I, and I, uh, look at how tender these things are. Look at that juice. Ooh, baby. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I smoked these a few months ago, but I uh, vacuum sealed them. And, uh, you know, I take, kind of take them out as, as we want to eat them. So. This is my dinner. <laughs> so that's what I'm having for dinner. My wife hangs out with her friends every uh, Wednesday night. They kind of go out and chit chat at each other's home. So my daughter and I get to be left at home and fend for ourselves. <clears throat> but um, what up, Chris? Just ate Adolfo. Adolfo, I got an extra one there, bro. Come on over. I'll share if you're in El Paso. <laughs> I will, Chris. But, guys, I just, uh, you know, wanted to come on before I did this long cook. Um, let me show you what I got going on. These are the briskets that I'm cooking tonight. I'm going to trim these here in a bit. Got a 19-pounder here. And I believe this one is a 19 pounder. I don't think it has, has a weight on it. But Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is a 19 pounder, right? <clears throat> but that's the Snake River Farms brisket. Um, yeah, it's a 19. So one of the things, I'll let you guys in, look, look at the, the width difference between the Snake River Farms and the regular Prime. Look at that thing. So, um, pretty nice briskets. This is, uh, I'll show you my setup, guys. Let me back up here so you guys can see. So these are my lights, my camera lights. And um, this is what I use to, this is where I'm gonna start filming this video tonight. And um, that's, there's a setup of my lights, my camera. Um, so, thank you, Yaya. Um, these are all the rubs that I'm using on these briskets. I'll show you how I'm going to set this stuff up, guys. Sorry for the camera movement. But um, <clears throat> these are all the rubs that I'm using. Love this stuff. Um, I'm going to use some of this 1836 beef rub. Man, guys, I'm giving you my secrets, okay? Um, What's going on, CJ? But this one, uh, this is this is my secret weapon. Uh, Chris is the only know the only one that knows what this is. But this is my secret weapon for briskets. But these are the three rubs that I'm using. I actually ran out of uh, yeah. I actually ran out of the um, Victory Lane beef rub. So I reached out to Tara and she's sending me a bunch. Um, they're awesome people, guys. Again, they, they support my channel with, with product. But uh, again, let me, let me take you on a tour around my, this is our, 
our dining area, but obviously I've got a couple of racks of product. But uh, so they got some Cosmos, some Big Papa Smokers. I got Cosmos rubs. I actually I, I don't I've used some of them, but I don't use them much. I will be using some of this brisket mop. Actually, I'm going to need to take take one of these out now because uh, I'm going to use that on my cook. There's some other rubs. Hello, scent. And then this is what I use right here. This is the majority of the stuff that I use. You'll see empty bottles that I put back here. These right here, you know, as I use them. But see, this is how much beef rub I have left. I use this stuff so much. But I'm I'm out. But they are shipping me some more. Um, this is the barbecue sauce that I used on the chicken legs. And then this is just additional stuff that I have. Right sauce. This is JP stuff. Haven't tried it yet. Good old JP. I got some of his sauces. I have actually I have all of his stuff. Um, but um, then I got some burnt out barbecue stuff. Some of this our our house seasoning. <clears throat> I got some more injection stuff there. So, but this is uh, this is where the magic happens, guys. This is where I'm gonna do my cook. Um, there's my camera set up. You can see the lights. The lighting really helps, guys. Uh, I'm actually kind of I'm actually dark complected, but these lights make me look like white like almost like michael jackson white <laughs> but it just makes the, the the picture a lot clearer so this is what the camera shoots usually when i'm cooking around this area here um <clears throat> so that's what i'm going to be doing tonight um i'm going to be cooking these briskets probably for 17 hours just like i do my all of my briskets but um yeah, guys, that's what I that's what I have going on tonight. Um, I'm gonna start recording. I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna trim these bad boys. Uh, you guys have probably seen my not a competition trim. This is just a regular backyard brisket trim that I'm gonna do. This is a prime brisket. Uh, Bay Pitmaster. Yes, sir. I'm doing a, a side by side comparison on both. Um, so I'm going to trim both of these similar, very similar. Um, check out my my channel, and you can see you can find a brisket trim video that I did. That's how I'm going to trim these, both of these, just a backyard trim. Get rid of a lot of this fat on the top, and the fat cap. Obviously, I'll trim this down to maybe quarter of an inch, so about that much right there. So I'll trim all this stuff off. I'll take the uh, these fat, hard fat pieces off as well. Trim a little bit here, but um, and the the wagyu is going to be similar. But good lord, look at the size of this flat, guys. <laughs> this is this brisket. I mean, in comparison to the other one, man, it's uh, it's really thick, guys. So uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna enjoy this. Really, I'm gonna enjoy this. Um, and uh, let me show you my knives that I'm going to use to trim. <clears throat> Again, sorry if you guys are getting dizzy. What's going on, Jerry? Yeah, man, that was that was handpicked by by Chris Webb. This is a knife that I use, guys, to to trim. I use this one, and then I use some paring knives, some small paring knives. But this is a big fillet knife. <clears throat> I mean, I'll lay it here so you guys can see how big this thing is. But it's probably 14 inches or so, but <clears throat> I like it guys because the blade is flexible. So if I'm getting into this, into this fat, for example, I can press it, see how flexible it is. And I'll just start to cut it like that, you know? So it's really good to remove this kind of fat. Um, it's good when I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it to trim the edges. You know, I like a nice clean edge. <clears throat> Again, it's all about you trim if you trim good you're gonna end up with good product so and then right here too <clears throat> you know I can I can press down and just start slicing across and removing some of this some of this stuff here so this is the knife I'm gonna use I know it's a big knife this is a hammer stone knife I'm trying to get this company to sponsor my channel and 
give me some more knives, but it's a work in progress, if you will. ASAP Fishing, how you doing? So just wanted to come on for a few minutes, guys, and, and again, show you guys what's going on. Um, I do have a, um, <clears throat> I do have a uh, Instagram page, and if you guys don't follow me on that, uh, look me up. Um, Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue on Instagram. I do post a lot of pictures, things that my fans never get to see unless you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, but I do take a lot of pictures throughout my process. You know, once I rub the briskets down as I'm trimming, I do a lot of, I, I'm pretty active on social media. Um, hey, George, will you wrap eventually where are you going to let it cook straight through? I will wrap. Um, once I get a nice bark, a nice dark bark, the Texas bark that, that everybody shoots for, um, I will wrap. And that's usually, if I had to pick a time, it's probably seven, eight hours in. Uh, once I get that nice dark uh, crust, um, then I'll wrap it with butcher paper. Um, but before I wrap it, I'm obviously going to, I'm going to put some of this uh, Cosmos brisket mop. So there you go. So I will wrap this. I'll, I'll actually going to mix this with a little bit of beef broth. Uh, where do I get my beef? Um, this Snake River Farms brisket here, I got from Proud Souls Barbecue. A buddy of mine that's in the chat, Chris, um, he actually hand delivered this to me, which is awesome. And then this one I bought from Costco. And you can see it's three twenty nine a pound. No injection, uh, Pitmaster. Um, the reason I don't do injection, guys, is because these these uh, briskets. Um, these briskets have a lot of fat already in them. I don't feel I need to inject. In fact, all of the prime briskets I've cooked, I've never injected one single one, and they come out extremely juicy. Um, and I'm not about injection. I'm not trying to get flavor on the inside of it. I, I The briskets, uh, Chris was here at my house, and again, he's a competition cook as well. He got to taste my brisket. I don't. I didn't inject that brisket, and it, it's, it's a really hearty brisket uh, because of the rubs that I use too. Less food equals less poop. <laughs> Whatever that means. But, um, yeah, somebody said you haven't seen briskets that big in San Antonio. Yeah, these are big. And, you know, they, they actually had like a 22-pounder there. But I was like, no, nah, that's too much. I mean, this is a big brisket. This is a 19-pounder. Look at this thing. It's probably, from here to here, it's probably, I don't know, 20, 22 inches. Or so. Yeah, this was one of Chris's smallest briskets. <laughs> so again, guys, I will be filming this. I probably won't upload this video. Um, I'm having a birthday party this weekend. It is my birthday. Um, this Saturday. And I'm going to be cooking a bunch of barbacoa. You guys probably saw my barbacoa video. I'm going to fill up my El Rey uh, with barbacoa. And... Uh, I think I got 60 pounds of beef cheeks um, that I'm going to be doing this Saturday, uh, getting together with a bunch of friends and family. Um, but I'm going to be doing that on my ALRA. Again, follow me on Instagram, guys, because that's where you'll see a lot of pictures. I won't be doing a video on the barbacoa, um, the beef cheeks. Uh, you guys have seen that before. Look it up in, in my library. You'll see that. Um, and uh, I'm just going to have a good old time. But thank you guys for wishing me a happy birthday. Uh, ASAP and just a George appreciate it brother um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a great weekend I'm off today's Wednesday I'm off Thursday I'm off Friday um, so I'm gonna cook these briskets 17 hours so this is gonna take me till tomorrow afternoon um, and I'll let them rest for two hours cut them up yeah Jerry I'm, I'm looking forward to spending some time with you brother um hit you up on twitter joe i don't do twitter yeah, yeah i don't i have a, a twitter account but i don't i really don't get on it um yeah we need a collab yeah yeah we, we really do brother we need to do them those hot ribs that we talked about for sure but uh, that's what i got going on guys i've got my dinner waiting for me over there that i warmed up i'm gonna grub out 
and then start recording this thing, start trimming these, these briskets. And quite honestly, these briskets will take me maybe, each brisket might take me 10 minutes to, to trim. Um, ASAP Fishing, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, Just Ate 8 is, is on Instagram and, and uh, they've got a, good, a great channel. They've got a really good channel as well. Smoking Joe's again. Congratulations on your fifteen hundred subscribers. I, I, I got in your your giveaway there a little, little early, but I was still working. Yeah, cook the Snake River Farm so it's tender than thirty more minutes. Yeah, guys, this this stuff is gonna be tender because and that 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 uh, brisket flat guys is man, it's at least I don't know two and a half inches maybe, really thick flat. So I'm not expecting that thing to dry out. I'm going to baby it, obviously, because uh, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Uh, it can be intimidating, but I'm not intimidated by it. I'm going to I'm going to tackle it and produce a really good brisket. But uh, guys, again, I just wanted to get on for a few minutes and show you guys what's going on. I'll give you guys a, a quick pan around again, uh, pan around of, of my setup here. There's my my lighting, my camera. I got my mic. That cable right there that's attached to the camera. So I'm going to start trimming this thing, start my video, have me some dinner. And hope you guys check out the video when I do this comparison cook. And uh, I, I'm going to slice it on camera so you'll see how juicy it is. And um, uh, hope you guys see it. Comment if you guys have any questions. Obviously, I'm here to help you guys. No secrets except for that rub that I showed you. But Chris, you know what this is. Let me show you this picture. I bet you Chris knows what this is without even telling him what it is. But uh, <laughs> you guys have a good night. Thanks for getting on for a few minutes. I just want to say hi to everybody and give you a kind of behind the scenes look at my setup here, my rubs. That I gave you a walk around. If you came, if you came in late, yeah, it is Chris. <laughs> uh, if you guys came in late, uh, watch the video here in a little bit. But uh, you guys have a good night. I will be coming up on Instagram as well, 